an MD of Virtual Gym TV. Virtual Gym TV delivers top-class exercise tuition from the UK's top fitness instructors exclusively over the internet to both retail customers and companies as a cost-effective staff benefit. Today we're hoping to raise equity investment of £50,000 in exchange for 4% of the business. So what are our achievements to date? Well, we're a trading company and we launched in January 2008. We have currently a total audience reach of about 54,000 users. If we look solely at the UK marketplace, uh, just slightly in excess of 85% of the UK adult population either can't, won't or don't use a normal gym facility. The reasons why they don't are many and varied. Virtual Gym TV is the only solution that removes all of those barrier reasons for both our retail customers and employees of the companies that we work with in one fell swoop. Please, show us what you've got here. Sure. This is our website, um, which is uh, the same that the retail and em employees of our corporate clients use. Hi, my name's Jackie and welcome to your step session. So when you're ready, let's get going. Okay guys, give me a march on your right foot. We're going to start with a little step touch, right left. So here comes your warm up and then I'm going to start to progress you over on that step. This is beginner, so I want you to work at your own level. So here comes your... Now Richard, just so I understand, this is all broadcast from the web. The, the idea is to give people kind of home training, home personal training. Yes. How many different courses do you have? Uh, we currently have about uh, 1,400 videos at the moment. 1,400 videos? And that increases all the time. And how many, okay, how many different, do you have Pilates, yoga, kickboxing, all, any kind of thing that you might find in a gym? Is it all, more all or less of, the same? Yes, all of those things, as well as spin and body conditioning, okay. football. Now, I, j I just want to make sure, if you could run me through, you mentioned something, it was a bit vague, 54,000 in user reach. What does yes. that mean exactly? Are those in your database? Are those users which are, are those hits to your website? With all of our corporate clients, where we set it up for a corporate client, we agree and negotiate a price with the employer. Which is? Um, well, uh, well, the rate card is uh, for 0 to 250 staff, uh, £4 per head per month. Yep. Uh, 250 to 500, three pounds. Five to 750, two pounds. 750 to 1,000, one pound. Okay. And above 1,000, then bespoke pricing at, at less than a pound per head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so radically lower than a gym. Oh yes. But substitute for a gym. Yes. Hi Richard, I'm Shaf. Can you tell me what your income was last month? Uh, for the last completed month of February, it was approximately 15k. Um, we know we've got a very, a, a very fixed idea of exactly how successful we're going to be this year based on just natural growth without having raised any of the investment money that we're looking for right at the moment. How successful are you going to be then this uh, We expect to be turning over just a shade over £300,000 this year. And what do you expect in terms of profit? Uh, profit on that turnover will be 120k. What will the net profit be? Approximately 80-90k. How much money have you invested in the business so far to date? Uh, personally, I've invested 75k. Um, the other primary shareholder has invested uh, just over 110, 15k from Medway Council and 30 from Cedar. How much do you think your business is worth today? Today, yeah. I think the business is worth in the region of 1.8 million. Today? Today. How did you get to that figure? That is based on uh, the midpoint of our expectations of performance this year, based on how we know we're going to grow naturally and how we think we'll grow based on raising the extra investment money that we're looking to, to raise both here and in some other places and the performance that that will bring. So we've taken the halfway point between the two sets of figures and just a, a P ratio of five. Richard, I can see that you've created an interesting substitute for gym membership at a substantially lower cost, which given the recession being a driver away from personal expenditure, that's nothing to sneeze at. And I think there's definitely, clearly, a space in the market for this. Mm -hmm. However, not to take anything away from what you've achieved so far, I think there's this next stage of the business is around scaling it 
to the corporate membership. Mm -hmm. I think that's a part of your entrepreneurial journey that I can help with so that it's less about just winning one corporate, one off, one off, yep. but really getting to the millions of users fast. So I'm, I'd be potentially interested in getting involved in your business. However, given that you're asking me to accept that you're going to achieve these forecasts, and I'm not 100% convinced by that, what I'd be interested in, the kind of deal structure would be that if you're comfortable giving away more of the equity now, if you achieve mm -hmm. what you say you're going to achieve, then I'd be willing to, to, for you to claw back the equity over time as you actually hit your forecasts. Okay. Are you comfortable with that as a structure? I am very comfortable with that, yes. What I'd like to do is for you to just go through one more time what you're going to do in calendar year 09 yes. and then calendar year 2010 so that we're just really clear on what you're forecasting for those two years. Okay. Okay, for 50K, turnover 2009, uh, just a shade over £800,000. I'm sorry? Just a shade over £800,000. In 2009? 2009. Net profit, gross profit? Gross profit, just a shade over half a million pounds, 510k to be exact. That's gross profit. Net profit for 09? Uh, net profit for 09 will be, um, uh, will be uh, about, it's, uh, it's just over 400, it's 415, 420k for 09 for the, for the year. So you did. Fifteen thousand pounds. Fifteen thousand pounds of revenue yes. in Feb. Yep. Richard, do you want to think about these figures? This is a very, very important discussion we're about to have because they're not holding together. Do you want to just take a minute and get them right in your head? It's a big yeah. jump. Okay. It's a big yeah. jump. In terms of the, of the scale of jump, by the close of play, at, this, at the end of this day, they are there where I expect to be. You know, Richard, I, um, I almost was there with this. I really was. Um, I, I'm just, you know, I've seen too many hockey stick curves. So I'm skeptical of big jumps, particularly early in the, in the growth of a business, but it, it, that just, you lost me there. Okay. When you said you're going to go from an annualized revenue of 180 now to 800 by the end of the year. With investment, yeah. With 50K investment and making nearly half a million sterling of profit this year. Mm-hmm, yes. I'd like to believe it, but I, I, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't ring true, and in fact, it, it 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 causes me to question your judgment whether whether you're you're making this up or or what. I'm certainly not making it up. You know, I'm going to cut to the chase here. I don't I don't like to get into um, arguments with entrepreneurs that I back mm -hmm. because it doesn't help anyone. I sense that we would have too many back and forth on what's going to go on, and I don't want to be, I'm not used to being, frankly, the dampening effect on people's enthusiasm, but I think your enthusiasm is off the charts. I commend you for it. I hope I'm wrong, but I think uh, I can't buy into these figures. And I'm sorry, Richard, but I'm afraid I'm out. Richard, these figures are absolutely astonishing. Now, either you're an absolute genius or you're a fool. Are you a genius or are you a fool? I'm certainly not a fool, okay. but I wouldn't be arrogant enough to call myself a genius either. Nah, I'm sorry, I'm out. These figures, they just don't stack together. They just do not stack together at all. I'm out. Okay, thank you very much.